Hello everyone, I'm Izzy Noodles. Welcome to a new walkthrough. This is Blood Mountain. It was uh, an entry in a South Pacific contest and from the rating uh, I assume it came in first because it's the highest rated of the ones titled with the contest. So we get an awesome flyby and then we just come down here and to start off with uh, in this area it is full of secrets so uh, part one of this game is all about the secrets so after you drop down come over to the right and you'll find this little cave space climb up inside and you can do the roll in this one so when you crouched just press the sprint button so hop down and this jump can be quite tricky so over here is secret one so you see where the tile patterns meet on Lara's left you want to be a step or two to the right of that and you can see across the way at the greenery there is a point and you can grab to the left of that but you can't grab to the right there is a slope to the right so you can't stand on it so you want to angle Lara just slightly to the uh, to the left of that point so wish me luck you don't usually take full damage here but you can yes got it first go awesome so here we go secret one has some uzis and you do want to be careful when you come down here because you can potentially take full damage so that's not an easy jump, it's taken me quite a few practices <laughs> to know how to do that one. So just make your way out. So you've got this slope just here. So the easiest way to get out is just be to the side of the slope and do a side jump. And you can climb out easily. So uh, this game can seem very confusing because there's a secret where you pick up a load of items uh, that's specifically for a different secret. So some items are a secret for that one secret later on but sometimes they're not classed as a secret they're just something you find and pick up. So anyway secret two in this area you come a bit more to the right and there are all these bushes here come through uh, I got a small med pack and there's quite a few monkeys in this area if they're not doing any harm I don't tend to kill them just because there's not much point um, secret three it's up over here I'm running around a bit let me just get your bearings for you that's where secret two was in the bushes so you want to come over here to this rock Oh, and try and climb up. Okay, so just climb up here. And the next secret is in the trees. Let me just te test my sound. Yeah, that's a bit quiet. Let me just turn that up. I turned it right down. Just because it, it's pretty loud. Uh, that will be all right. Yeah, the guns are actually incredibly loud in this game. So anyway, do a, a running jump over to here. And try not to get too close to the edge, because you can potentially fall off. But most of it is... Uh, yeah, you are able to stand on it. It is standable, is what I was going to say. So anyway, when you pick that up, just come over to this little bit close to where you came from and this has square edges so you can just drop down safely okay the next <laughs> secret is over here in this small little area hidden very well in the bushes right here in the corner there is a crossbow very cool so now we're done with secrets for now right here in this area and you want to climb up on this rock this is the only way to get over the rocks on this side from what I can tell anyway 
tried quite a few times and just thought that I know I can get up here so I'll just come to here but anyway right next to that crossbow you want to hop up and we do want to go in the water but you may as well run around the edge because she'll just uh, very slowly wade her way through but eventually the current will grab you and bring you down tiny bit of fall damage but that's all right and you want to get out right here this is the only place you can get out of the water and we have a crocodile which emerges from the caves so now I'm gonna hop back in the water and get another secret so come to the left here it is it's a skull key this is for another area later on which we don't have to do it's optional which is why it's a secret uh, and also don't go to the right hand side that path down there leads you to a current that will drag you down to your death <laughs> so you don't want to go down there so now we've got that just climb up and now we're going to try and get to the other side so hop up here and this jump can be tricky it takes a few attempts you've got a triangle tile that you can just see we are aiming for that triangle and it does take quite a few attempts so run and jump and veer to yeah I knew I wasn't gonna make that uh, veer to the left but sometimes she will if you veer too much she'll bump into the wall and bounce off So there's various points in this game where I forget to save because it can be pretty simple so you don't think to save and then something stupid happens. But anyway, uh, shoot those boxes and you've got some items in them. There's a large med pack and revolver ammo. And here you can see there is a torch. We don't need the torch. That's just there to confuse you, make you think you're doing something that you don't actually need to do. So instead, just pull the skeleton and he sat on a crowbar. As soon as we pick this up, we will spawn some little compies. So just get rid of them. Careful you don't jump into the fire. And that's why I turned slightly. So now the place where we want to use the crowbar is over in this corner. Oh. Okay, so once we're inside, there is a bat. I think I got it. And you can shoot a couple of these boxes. There's one here that has uh, flares in it. Speaking of which, let me light one because it's a bit dark. So in the corner over here, we've got a jerry can, which is basically oil. We have obtained oil. And also you can see a crawl space there. We can crawl into that, but there's a slope at the other side, so we can't come down it. So uh, to get to what you can see at the bottom of the slope, pull out this box and we can go inside so there's a key here you can see where we'd be able to look down and see the key because it's a bit frustrating you can see the item but you can't work out how to get to it uh, for now I'm going to grab a secret so just come down here and fall through into another dark area Over in the dark corner on this side, there is another secret. It's all about the secrets. And to get out of here, you want to just come into the water a little bit. And you want to shoot the grate. If she doesn't duck down, you're just a little bit too deep in the water for her to duck down. So just take a step back. And also, I'm going to save here. Where's my save? There it is. So you do want to go to the right hand side because the current will drag you. You want to go right. 
and just to the left I've had a, a buggy situation where it won't let me pick this up so you want Lara's head to touch that wall and then you can turn and pick up this item you won't get dragged when you're in this little cubby hole but there have been a few times where um, it is buggy just there and in this cave where I'm going and you can't actually surface here either because of the current so that's why I saved it's just in case you get stuck like I am right now and then she will drown so it's very buggy here all right there we go so follow this round and we're back in a familiar place this is where we got that crocodile awesome so we're going back to the campsite so climb out and do exactly what you did because uh, by the way the jerry can that I picked up which I didn't mention is for a secret it's a different secret from the skull key the skull key is just one secret everything else I pick up now that I say is for a secret it's all the same secret but not the same as the skull key <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> so you want to cross the river now which can be tricky on the off chance you get the wrong tile um, there's been a few times where I've got the right tile but I've just overshot and she's slid straight down <laughs> So you saw that where I jumped from there, there is this gap where this bush is. And you can hop up. Oh no, no. <laughs> you can hop up to here. Looks like you can stand on that tile that I slid onto. You can stand on that triangle tile in front of Lara, but I tend to come to the end here. Yeah, And you want to sidestep here, otherwise she might actually just walk straight off the ledge for some reason. And then just do a standing jump over to here and from here we want to cross the river again so just line yourself up just careful of that big slope behind you because that will stop you doing your running jump it will unalign you so i'm grabbing the air for this one and now we want to get to the vines now there are some hidden slopes here to the right of Lara, that's a slope there, so it's it's uh, a bit difficult to get across. You have to do a half tower jump here. So I actually take three steps back, it's usually two steps, but because that is an angled slope, it goes diagonally across this tile, there's a chance that you will hit the slope. So I take three steps back just to make sure. And then just do your half tile. There we go and i think this tile is completely standable on i don't think it's sloped but anyway you want to now jump to the vine there we go and inside here there is a box with another item got some more flares okay and right now this gets really tricky you want to save before you use the key because there is a a fall away floor um what am i trying to say <laughs> there's a grate covering a little hole and there is a, an item for a secret in the hole the item itself is a secret unlike the jerry can which is not a secret but it's for that same secret we will be getting to later on so you don't have to do this if you don't want the secret but of course i want the secrets and it will show you the cutscene and you'll be thinking what on earth is that the first time you play you won't get it uh, so you want to press the look button to get rid of that little cutaway because that will slow you down so here i go enough babbling and let's get on with it because there are enemies as well down here you want to run straight past them the grate will close run you don't want to slide off anything because that will slow you down the raptors are poisonous by the way press this button here no press the button press the button i might have missed it i missed it that's the grate there it's open for a short amount of time and you want to press the button to keep it open 
so I'm going to reload and try again. You will not get this on your first go. Okay, second try. So the first time I played, I actually thought I'd missed an item. Okay, get rid of that. Sprint. Raptor is poisonous, don't forget. Oh, button. Got it. Oh, oh, nice, he pushed me up. So you want to get straight up. So that's open now. Good. And I'll just get rid of everyone, because they're really annoying when you're trying to run to that button. Well, he's just going to stand there and let me shoot him. That's good. do take quite a while. I really love the noise of the raptors make. It's like a child's dinosaur toy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now we can get the item that is down here. It is a bag of sand and it is secret seven I believe. So we've got loads of secrets already. There are 13 altogether, but after the first part they are spread about a bit more. So back again up on the top and onto the next one of the roof is what I meant, onto the top of the roof. And then up the ladder and you can see we've got a zip line. Very cool. So a, a problem I've had before in official Tomb Raider games is that for some reason like she let go of the zip line and it left without her and she was stuck and I had to reload. So keep your finger firmly on the action button. And so from here you want to sprint because of that trap. And even jumping over that will take off a lot of damage. That does damage when it's stationary like that. That is an evil, evil trap. So just be careful. Okay, so now we can jump up here, and here we are. We have arrived at Blood Mountain, finally here. Right, Ooh. so we can see this rope here. We want to use the rope, and it can be tricky to get there. I had a 100% success rate at getting the rope, and then suddenly she wouldn't get it. So when you're on the rope, you can jump to the bridge, but there's a secret, and yet another secret. So to get the rope, you want to aim for the um, the yellowy grassy bit, by the way, for the secret. So you want to take a step back. I'm going to try my 100% success rate way first. So one step back and then hop back for a running jump. And she didn't grab it. Okay, another way is to maybe do, I think I did two steps back, and you can't see, but do a running jump from there. Nope. So frustrating. Okay, so t two steps back again, and then jump on the third step. Like her running jump is two steps and then jump. But try doing three. It is difficult to see what she's doing. Yes, all right. So you have to try and guess when she's taken a step forward, which is what I did. Like the camera kind of bobs ever so slightly. So from here, you're aiming for the green. And for some reason, she often just veers right off to the right hand side <laughs> sometimes into the water so that is incredibly annoying and I have no idea why it happens oh no no I don't want you to climb up I want you to swing um something that I haven't not mentioned yet haven't yet mentioned or whatever oh for goodness sake I'll try again I was busy talking. <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, something that I've not yet mentioned is that this game is very easy to do, 
with no meds and pistols only but I won't be doing pistols only because uh, you know I want to make it a bit more exciting than that <laughs> so from here you're aiming for the bushes oh thank god for that I thought she was going to miss it didn't look as though she veered off either so that's good So the secret is over this way, hidden in the bushes at the end. You might have to just walk about a bit. There it is, Uzi Clips. And so to get back up to where we need to be, there's this ledge here that we can shimmy along. A bit slow at shimmying in this one. Here we go, and then we can just climb up the vine just here. Up we go. All right, so up the top, you can see across the bridge there is a door that is closed and the door here that is closed. Um, this red water is not deadly, it is just red water. But you don't want to hop into it right here because it will take you straight back down to the bottom and you'll have to do the rope swing again. <laughs> um, yes, also this door is closed and that's where we want to be. So we want to figure out how to get inside. We can't open the gate, so we'll have to find a different way in. But I will leave that for next time. So thank you for watching part one of Blood Mountain and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.